Hello students, in the first part of quadratic equations, I have explained sums of 4a and today I am starting 4b. Here the first question is, the product of two consecutive positive integers is 240. Formulate the quadratic equation whose roots are these integers. So in this question, we have to frame the equation only. As given in the question, the product of two consecutive positive integers, so we can consider, let the numbers be x and x plus 1. As it is given consecutive, that means two consecutive integers. If one integer is x, so another one will be x plus 1. So according to the question, product of these two numbers is 240. So x into x plus 1 will be 240. Now x into x, x square plus x into 1 x equals to 240. So x square plus x minus 240 is 0, which is the required quadratic equation. In question number 2, it is given the sum of the squares of two consecutive numbers is 390. Formulate the quadratic equation to find the two numbers. Here, sum of the squares of two consecutive numbers. So, we can consider let the numbers be x and the next one is x plus 1. Here also it is given consecutive. So, if you take one x, another one must be x plus 1. And as given in the question, sum of the squares, so it will be x square plus x plus 1 whole square, it is given 390. So, x square plus, here we have to use a plus b whole square formula, it will be a square plus twice a b plus b square equals to 390. x square plus x square, 2 x square plus twice x plus 1 minus 390, it will be 0. So, it will be 2 x square plus twice x plus 1 minus 390, it will be minus 389 equals to 0 and this is the required quadratic equation. In question number 3, it is given the sum of the numbers is 15 and the sum of their reciprocals is 3 by 10. Formulate the quadratic equation to find the two numbers. Here we have to consider two numbers, sum of the numbers is 15 and sum of their reciprocals is 3 by 10 and we have to frame the equation. Here we can consider let the numbers be x and y. As given in the question, sum of the numbers is 15. Dono mira ke 15 hoga, to y will be 15 minus x. Let it be equation number 1. Again it is given sum of their reciprocal. So reciprocal of x will be 1 by x. Reciprocal of y will be 1 by y. And sum means if I add these two, it will be 3 by 10. So 1 by x plus instead of y we can write 15 minus x it will be 3 by 10 now if i take lcm of x and 15 minus x it will be x into 15 minus x so this lcm divided by x it will be 15 minus x so i have written here 15 minus x plus this lcm divided by 15 minus x it will be x x into 1 x equal to 3 by 10 plus x and minus x can be cancelled. So, we are left with 15 by x into 15 minus x equal to 3 by 10. Now, if I cross multiply 3 into x into 15 minus x equals to 15 into 10, 150. 3 into 15, 45 x plus minus minus 3 x into x, 3 x square equals to 150 minus 3 x square plus 45 x minus 150 equals to 0. From here, minus 3 can be taken common. And if I take minus 3 common, it will be x square. Here from plus, I have taken already minus. So, it will be another minus because minus into minus is plus. So, it will be minus 15x plus 50 equals to 0. Now, just check minus 3 into x square minus 3x square minus minus plus 315 to 45x plus minus minus 3 into 50. It will be 150 equals to 0. So, x square minus 15x plus 50 equals to 0 because minus 3, if I transfer in the other side, it will be 0 by minus 3, which will be 0. So, this is the required quadratic equation. From 4b, these three sums are there. I hope these sums are clear. Let me now show sums from 4c. In 4c, the first question is solve the following equation by factorization. So, in question number 1, it is given x minus 4 into x plus 2 and it is equals to 0 and we have to find the value of x. In 4c, question number 1 is x minus 4 into x plus 2 equals to 0 and we have to solve this equation. 
yes it is already written in the form of products x minus 4 into x plus 2 so we can write either x minus 4 equals to 0 or x plus 2 equals to 0 so either it will be x minus 4 equals to 0 or x plus 2 equals to 0 so from here x equals to 4 and from here x equals to minus 2 therefore x equal to 4 and minus 2 are the roots of the given equation in question number 2 it is given twice x plus 3 into thrice x minus 7 equals to 0 and we have to solve it here also it is given in the form of product of twice x plus 3 into 3x minus 7 which is equals to 0 so we can write either twice x plus 3 equals to 0 or 3x minus 7 equals to 0 so twice x equals to minus 3 so x equals to minus 3 by 2 and from this side thrice x equals to 7 because minus 7 if I transfer in the other side it will become plus 7 so x equal to 7 by 3 therefore roots of the given equation are minus 3 by 2 and 7 by 3 now question number 3 it is given x square plus thrice x minus 18 equals to 0 and by factorization we have to solve it since here 3 terms are there we have to go for middle term factorization and rule for middle term factorization is we have to multiply the coefficient of x square with the constant number here it is 1 into minus 18 1 into minus 18 is minus 18 since it is negative so we need two numbers whose difference should be this number here it is 3 so difference of these two numbers should be 3 and product of these two must be 18 now 18 can be written as 1 into 18 or 2 into 9 or 3 into 6 since we need two numbers whose difference is 3 so we have to consider 6 and 3 so instead of 3 we are writing 6 minus 3 so equation will be x square plus instead of 3 we are writing 6 minus 3 into x minus 18 equals to 0 so it will be x square plus 6 into x 6x plus minus minus thrice x minus 18 equals to 0 now from first to x is common so if i take x common it will be x plus 6 just see x into x x square x into 6 6x from last two you can take minus 3 common and if minus 3 is taken common from here we are left with x and from here plus 6 plus minus minus 3 into x thrice x plus minus minus 3 6 is 18 now again x plus 6 from both the terms can be taken common because here it is x into x plus 6 here minus 3 into x plus 6 so x plus 6 is common term so x plus 6 if i take common then we are left with x minus 3 now x plus 6 into x minus 3 equals to 0 so either x plus 6 equal to 0 or x minus 3 equals to 0 from here x will be minus 6 and from here x equals to 3 therefore roots of the given equations are minus 6 and 3 now question number 4 is x square minus thrice x minus 10 equals to 0 here also we have to solve it by factorization and we have to go for middle term factorization if we multiply the coefficient of x square which is 1 with minus 10 then 1 into minus 10 it will be minus 10 since we got negative numbers we need two numbers whose difference should be this number that is 3 and product of p and q must be 10 so now 10 can be written as 1 into 10 or 2 into 5 since difference of the number should be 3 so we have to consider 5 and 2 so x square minus instead of 3 we can write 5 minus 2 into x minus 10 equals to 0 so x square minus 5 into x 5x minus minus plus twice x minus 10 equals to 0 from first 2 i can take x common it will be x minus 5 from last 2 i can take 2 common if i take 2 common it will be x minus 5 that will be equals to 0 yes x minus 5 is common in so we have written x minus 5 and we are left with x plus 2 which is equals to 0 so either x minus 5 equals to 0 or x plus 2 equals to 0 so x equals to 5 and x equals to minus 2 therefore roots of the given equations are 5 and minus 2 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव एंड सिक्स आर ऑफ द सेम टाइप आई होप यू कैन डू इट योर सेल्फ लेट मी शो क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन नाउ थ्री एक्स स्क्र माइनस एक्स माइनस टू इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड वी आर टू सॉल्व इट बाई फैक्टोराइजेशन ना इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई फर्स्ट नंबर एंड लास्ट नंबर हि आई इट इज थ्री एंड हि आई इट इज माइनस टू इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई थ्री एंड माइनस टू इट विल बी माइनस सिक्स सीन्स इट इज निगेटिव उई नीड टू नम्बर हूज डिफारेंस शुड बी द मिडिल नम्बर हि आई इट इज वन एक्स सो उई नीड टू नम्बर हूज डिफारेंस शुड बी वन एंड प्रोडक्ट शुड बी सिक्स नाउ सिक्स कैन बी रिटर्न एस वन इन टू सिक्स और टू इन टू थ्री सीन्स उई नीड डिफारेंस वन सो उई हैव टू कन्सिडार थ्री एंड टू बिकज थ्री माइनस टू इज वन एंड थ्री इंटू टू इज सिक्स सो इन्स्टेड ऑफ वन उई हैव टू राइट थ्री माइनस टू सो वी आर गोइंग टू गेट थ्री एक्स स्क्र माइनस थ्री माइनस टू एक्स माइनस टू इक्वल्स टू जिरो इंस्टेड ऑफ वन वी आर राइटिंग थ्री माइनस टू सो इट विल बी थ्री एक्स स्क्र माइनस थ्री इन टू एक्स थ्राइस एक्स माइनस माइनस प्लस टू आइस एक्स माइनस टू इक्वल्स टू जिरो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू इजिली यू कैन टेक थ्री एक्स कॉमन सो वी आर लेफ्ट उथ एक्स माइनस वन फ्रॉम दिस टू आई कैन टेक प्लस टू कॉमन इट विल बी एक्स माइनस वन इक्वल्स टू जिरो Again, x minus one can be taken common. Then we are left with three x plus two. Since product of these two terms equals to zero, so either x minus one equals to zero or three x plus two equals to zero. Since x minus one is zero, so x equals to one. And since three x plus two is zero, so three x equals to minus two. So x equal to minus two by three. Therefore, required values of x is one or minus two by three. In question number eight. It is given 5x square minus 3x minus 2 equals to zero. If we multiply constant term that is minus 2 with the coefficient of x square, then it will be 5 into minus 2, which is minus 10. Since it is negative, so we need two numbers whose difference should be 3 and product should be 10. So here 10, if I factorize, it will be 1 into 10 or 2 into 5. Now five minus two is three, and five into two ten. So instead of three, we are writing five minus two. So it will be five x square minus. Instead of three, we are writing five minus two x minus two equals to zero. Five x square minus five x minus minus plus twice x minus two equals to zero. From here, five x common. So we are left with x minus one. From this two, if I take plus two common, it will be x minus one. Now just check five x into x five x square, five x into one five x, two into x twice x, plus minus minus two one just two equals to zero. So it will be x minus one five x plus two equals to zero. Now either x minus one is zero or five x plus two equal to zero. So we can write either x minus one equals to zero. That means x equal to one. Or 5x plus 2 equals to 0 means 5x equals to minus 2. Therefore, x equals to minus 2 by 5. Therefore, roots of the given equations are 1 and minus 2 by 5. In question number 11, it is given that x square minus root 2 plus 1 within bracket into x plus root 2 equals to 0. Here already it is given in the form of root two plus one. So if we just separate it, it will be x square minus root two into x plus minus minus one into x x plus root two equals to zero. From first two I can take x common. If I take x common, it will be x minus root two. From last two, if I take one common, it will be x minus root two. Just check x into x x square. Plus minus minus root two into x root two x minus x into one x minus minus plus root two into one root two equals to zero. Now x minus root two can be taken common. Then we are left with x minus one. So x minus root two into x minus one equals to zero. So either x minus root two equals to zero or x minus one equals to zero. So x equals to root two or x equals to one. Therefore, roots of the given equation root two and one. In question number twelve, it is given x minus half whole square equals to four, and we have to find the value of x. So x minus half equals to plus minus root over four. Now x equals to this minus half. If I transfer in the other side, it will be half plus minus two because root over four is two. So x will be half plus two or half minus two. So half plus two. Here we can consider two by one. So LCM of two and one is two. 
टू डिवाइडेड बाई टू वन 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 जा वन प्लस टू डिवाइडेड बाई वन टू 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 जा फोर फोर प्लस वन फाइव सो इट उल बी फाइव बाई टू एंड हियर इट उल बी टू एल सी एम टू डिवाइडेड बाई टू वन 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 जा वन माइनस टू डिवाइडेड बाई वन हियर इट इज वन सो टू डिवाइडेड बाई वन टू 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 जा फोर सो इट उल बी फाइव बाई टू और वन माइनस फोर इज माइनस थ्री माइनस थ्री बाई टू दे आर फोर रूट्स ऑफ द गिव इन इक्वेशन आर फाइव बाई टू एंड माइनस थ्री बाई टू इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन इट इज गिवेन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स माइनस ए इंटू ए प्लस वन इक्वल्स टू जीरो हियर इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर उथ अ कन्स्टेंट नंबर इट उल बी माइनस ए ए प्लस वन सीन्स इट इज नेगेटिव वी नीड टू नंबर हुज डिफारेंस शुड बी दिस नंबर दैट इज वन बिकॉज हि इट इज वन एक्स एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द नंबर शुड बी ए इंटू ए प्लस वन सो वी कैन कन्सिडार नंबर टू बी ए प्लस वन एंड ए इफ आई एड दिस टू ए एंड ए उल कैन सेल इट उल बी वन एंड इफ आई माल्टीप्लाई दैन इट उल बी माइनस ए ए प्लस वन सो इन्स्टेड ऑफ वन एक्स वी कैन रेट ए प्लस वन माइनस ए इंटू एक्स माइनस ए इंटू ए प्लस वन सो एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस ए प्लस वन इंटू एक्स माइनस माइनस प्लस ए इंटू एक्स माइनस ए ए प्लस वन इक्वल्स टू जीरो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू आई कैन टेक एक्स कॉमन इट उल बी एक्स माइनस ए प्लस वन फ्रॉम लास्ट टू इफ आई टेक प्लस ए कॉमन इट उल बी एक्स माइनस ए प्लस वन इक्वल्स टू जीरो इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन इट उल बी एक्स फ्रॉम हियर एक्स माइनस ए प्लस माइनस माइनस वन प्लस ए हियर ऑल्सो एक्स माइनस ए प्लस माइनस माइनस वन Again, x minus a minus one can be taken common, so we are left with x plus a. So either x minus a minus one equals to zero or x plus a equals to zero. So x will be a plus one, and from here x equals to minus a. Therefore, roots of the given equations are minus a and a plus one. I hope this sums are clear. So try up to number sixteen. and in the next video i'm going to start from number 17 of 4c till then bye bye take care and wait for the next part